Talking about military weapons, Russia never runs out of ideas in manufacturing them. Russia itself is reported to be building the sixth generation of powerful combat drones. Its name is Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik. Perhaps this is what makes this country one of the strongest military powers in the world. With the latest news from the Rusa drone segment, Russia unveiled the second prototype of the S-70 Okotnik drone, or simply called the Hunter, equipped with the long-awaited flat jet nozzle configuration among many other enhancements, which will maximize the low observability and combat effectiveness of the production version. Meanwhile, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu firmly stated that test work might be finished sometime next year. The flat jet nozzle layout is meant to limit radar visibility on this combat drone, making it difficult to detect. Meanwhile, Deputy Minister of Defense of Russia Alexei Krivoruchko said that now his party was developing the engine for the first flying test. Sukhoi S-70 itself gained the moniker Okotnik, which means Hunter. Until now, there is not much information that can be told from this drone. The S-70 itself has a wing design that is created with composite materials and stealth coatings that are difficult to detect by conventional radar. Drones are also outfitted with optronic, radio, and other reconnaissance gear. The S-70 was launched today at the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association, or NAEPO, in southern Siberia, where the drone is constructed on behalf of the Sukhoi Design Bureau. The unveiling of the second Okotnik prototype was attended by Russian Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Krivoruchko. The engine utilized in the Okotnik was earlier rumored to be a variation of the AL-41F turbofan, powering the Su-35 flanker multirole fighter and an early version of the new generation Su-57 felon fighter. It's unclear whether the second prototype keeps the same motor, but it's apparent the engine exhaust has been totally rebuilt, with the new flat jet nozzle designed by the aircraft now having a closed exhaust design like the B-02 Spirit. On its debut in 2019, the S-70 was criticized for its open exhaust design, which is contradictory with stealth aircraft concepts. Overall, this newest S-70 variant looks to represent a leap forward in Russia's capacity to implement technology and observable production skills. However, merely launching this jet doesn't ensure everything will perform as claimed. So, we'll have to wait and see how successful the Russians are in getting the new exhaust design to operate. Maximizing the S-70's stealth looks to be a major component, since the intention is to drastically lower the Okotnik to compensate for some of the underlying faults of the Su-57 Felon. This would make more sense considering the fact that Okotnik was meant to work with Felon as part of the Russian version of the faithful wingman notion. Okotnik will also be able to function autonomously like drones in general. The S-70 Okotnik drone, designed by the Sukhoi Shape Bureau, uses stealth technologies and a flying wing design that lacks a tail, hence minimizing its radar signature. According to open source statistics, the drone has a takeoff weight of 20 tons and can accelerate to around 1,000 kilometers slash for its dimensions. The S-70 is 14 meters long and has a wingspan of 19 meters as supplementary information serial delivery of drones to the Russian army will commence from 2024. The S-70 features drones with UCAV qualities whose design is based on the Mikoyan SCAT. Part of the Sukhoi Su-57 fighter jet technology is apparently also included in the Sukhoi S-70. Initially, the Sukhoi S-70 project was developed starting in 2011 by the Russian Ministry of Defense. While the first mock-up of the S-70 was utilized for ground testing, and was constructed in 2014. The S-70 Nuga has started to carry out armament testing in the form of firing bombs and unleashing air missiles into the air in the future. While the prototype drone was initially observed in July 2017, which displayed a futuristic wing structure, like the U.S. Air Force's B-2 Spirit, the Okotnik drone then had its inaugural flight on August 3, 2019. The flight lasted just over 20 minutes under operator control. On 27 September 2019, Okotnik performed its first flight combined with the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter aircraft. The drone maneuvers in the air in automated mode at a height of roughly 1,600 meters, and its flight lasts 30 minutes.